Hi, it's me, your friendly neighbourhood YouTuber. Today, I thought I would do a little chat. I look tired because I am and I'm a bit insecure about filming at the moment. I find it really hard to struggle in this room, mainly because there aren't that many angles that I like and there's a very limited time frame of when I can film with natural light and even when I can there's probably loud noises and I'm burning very hard and I think that's quite an accurate representation of what living in halls is like. Um, so university is really fun and in a different way to the way school was really fun because school was really fun in the way that you just got to hang out with your mates every single day just learning new things and I think the school's really cool but the fact you're constantly being reviewed, I, this camera's falling, uh, the fun of learning really did get sucked out and it was really hard but thankfully that has been restored at university. You study something you love and it's great and you can be writing your assessment pieces and smiling. You can be incredibly stressed out but you wouldn't wish to study anything else because you just love your subject so much. One of the big differences between school and university is the amount of freedom you get, like, especially compared to, like, how I felt in my situation, even in sixth form, I really did feel forced to be there. By the end of year 13, which is the second year of sixth form, I had a, quite a poor attendance, I would say, because I just stopped going to things I didn't value and I think that was just me crying out for more freedom and more responsibility and when I came to university I got that. I got the fact that you don't have to go to anything. No one's knocking on your door asking you where you were. No one is forcing you to go anywhere because everyone's got their own thing going on and I think because you live with people they're not on your course. They don't know your timetable because it's it's your life. It's not your life anymore. Like. I really did feel defined by school, but at university I don't feel defined by it. I feel defined by my subject, but also I just feel far more creative and like I have a much wider identity other than just like what subjects I do and where I went and how I did and what were my grades. I found myself getting really nostalgic the other day because I went into town just as all the school children were coming out, so they were all in town and they're, you know, like blazers and I always think school is very romanticised but also everyone's like oh it's rubbish but you, I do miss it a little bit I realised that day but only the we're all in it together kind of mentality rather than the whole learning science all the time thing which I hated. I really did feel reminiscent for the times where I could have done anything. I kind of still can but it's really not the same and my teachers used to talk about it all the time about how this is the, you know, you can do anything. This is where you can just go off and do whatever you want. Um, and I'm happy with the path I had. I just kind of miss that whole fresh beginnings. But also I felt very restricted by it when I was at school. I felt very restricted, like I couldn't wait to, you know, spread my wings and go. Now I'm gone and I was right. I am so happy to be soaring across the land of graphics and media and culture. Some of the negativities I find are maybe that I don't have as many lessons. I only have 12 hours of lessons a week as opposed to I used to have about 20, tw either 25 or 30, I don't really remember. And that just means I'm not forced to hang out with people all the time. So I think if I'm not careful, it would be quite easy to become lonely or isolated. But luckily I have made a great group well, two great groups of friends, really. I'm just, I'm so lucky for the people I have met and it's just such a good environment for meeting people because you're hanging out with them voluntarily rather than kind of being flung all together. And the fact you don't always have to see them every day, like that put a massive strain on my friendship group, I think, by the end. That we'd been, it was kind of, we've kind of all been one friend group for about four years. And trying to talk to the same people for four years does massively put a strain on you and I think it's also quite restrictive for you as like a creative or as someone who wants to learn stuff so when I went to university I get friends here but I also still have my home friends and I guess my away friends who are the ones who also 
have gone off and started university. So I just have many people all around. It also kind of puts your family in a different category. Because, I don't know, when I was younger I felt like friends and family kind of in the same category. But I don't know why, I guess it's because I saw all of them very regularly. And now family is so much more important and I do really like that. Obviously that will come out of just moving out, I think, unless you have like a bad family situation. But for me it's made me more thankful for my family than ever before because they're just this group of people that I can actually go and I don't live with so I just appreciate spending time with them rather than just kind of taking this bubbly group of supportive people for granted. I get to actually reach out and see them and actually do things and it's not just like we live together, why are we... Used? It's funny because when I came to university I thought it was going to be harder than sixth form and for me it has not been. First year has been a blast. It has been so fun so far. It's not really been that stressful. I mean obviously there's like a few weeks where you're probably a bit stressed but overall I've just had a wonderful time. I've just been happy and I'm so happy to learn again. Learning stuff I never thought I'd be interested in and then becoming my favourite modules. I have already had some of the most like one of the most inspiring lecturers. But yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat. I guess living in halls really just, it hits you in the face sometimes. It's normally when I've marathoned something and I've been in my room for a while and my room is like my own little kind of cocoon of me, you know? This is my life, this is, this is me. And I walk out the door and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm at university. Oh yeah, this is happening. But it has been one of my dreams for a long time to go to university and to get a degree. So I'm very happy that I'm doing it. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my little whatever this was. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll bring in back the swoop. Oh, what? Oh, is this for a <laughs> screen? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> you in the book? No, you didn't. <laughs> Well, that seems like content. I need my food.